Now, in the last session, we had seen till the creation of the frame, okay, and giving some configurations for it. Now, the next thing is on this particular form that we are creating, we would give self dot say message six is equal to we are creating your message self dot frame one and on this we are saying self dot message six dot place we are giving the rel x as 0 0.09 then the rel y as say 0 0.01 then the height as say 0 0.15 and the width as say 0 0.87 okay after giving this configurations now we are give, going to give some different configurations for the same self dot message six so what we would do is let us say self dot message six dot configure and let us copy down this because this will have to repeat a multiple times in this we are going to set the first configuration as the background and that we are going to give say d9 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 after which the next configuration we are going to give is the font and this time we are going to give font 16 here the next configuration we are going to give is the foreground and that is equal to again hash and six times zero the next configuration we are going to give is the highlight background and here we are going to give again say d9 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 then we need to give the highlight color and the color we are going to give as say black then we will give here a text on this saying say welcome to amusement park okay and finally the last configuration for this we're going to set the width of this say for example 790 in this case so if you just notice down the total configurations that we have given is for background the font the foreground highlight background highlight color then the text and finally the width of it now after this we are going to give certain buttons on this particular form on click of whose buttons we would be opening different forms in our project okay so the first thing we would set here is say self dot button 2 is equal to creating a new button on self dot frame 1 okay and then we say self dot button 2 dot place it so again we are giving here say rel x 0 0.18 rel y 0 0.17 setting the height of it as say 103 and the width of it as say 566 and after this again we would give the self dot button 2 dot configure let's copy down this and the first thing we are going to give is active background and that we are going to set the color as d9 okay now after setting the active background the next configuration we want is as active foreground and that is equal to six times zero then we are going to set the background of this and that's equal to say hash d9 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 and then we are going to set over here the disabled foreground and here we are going to set the color giving say hash and then the next configuration comes is our font so this time we are setting your font 14 that we have already created above the next thing is after the font we will set here the foreground and that's six times zero the next thing we would set here is is the highlight background and that's equal to then the next thing you want is highlight color and again here we are going to set the color as black okay so let us continue further 
okay now we have done till the highlight color part now after this we would be giving another configuration that is padding to where a zero then let us give here a text and this time we would display here c1 point and we would give say visitor check in okay after this let us give another configuration for width and that we give say 566 and here we will be giving a command that is equal to if you just remember above here we have given this click underscore visit day underscore gui for which we are giving this particular python file to be opened so this command we would copy down and paste it over here currently okay so that is the command that we are giving when you click on that particular button what should happen so we are opening another form there okay now let's move further with another button so we would create say button 3 is equal to button in bracket self dot say frame 1 then again we'll give button 3 dot place and we will give the rel x we would give the rel y then we would give the height and we would give the width and after we set this then again we will have to give button 3 dot configure so let us copy down this and now again we are supposed to give some multiple configurations over here out of which the first is our active background and that is equal to d9 then the next configuration we want to give is active foreground and that is equal to then next configuration we require is background and that is equal to d9 okay then we are also giving here one more that is say disable foreground okay and over here we are giving a particular color that is say bf 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 okay now after this the next configuration is giving the font so again here also we are giving font 14 then we are giving a foreground and that is again 6 times 0 then we are giving the highlight background okay and here again the highlight background is d9 again after this we are giving the highlight color and that is as normal we are giving black then we are giving paddy equals to zero after which we are setting the text over here and this time we are giving here say two dot and now the second that we have given over here is for the visitor list okay so we would copy down this command and we would give here say view visitor list okay and once we have set this text property the uh, next thing that we are supposed to do is okay let us copy down this and here we would be giving first width and that is say 566 then we are giving here the command and that is equal to check under click underscore visitor list that is the function which would execute on the click of this button which will automatically call the form that we had given there okay with this now we will come to the next button available or which we would be creating in our page that will be say for example button 4 so here we are giving self dot button 4 is equal to button in bracket we give self dot frame 1 and then we set self dot button 4 dot we are placing it on rel x then rel y 0 0.47 height say 93 
and width say 566 okay and then after this again we would be setting the button 4 dot configure properties and those the first thing we are giving is an active background and that is equal to d9 then we are setting the active foreground and that is equal to 6 times 0 then we are setting the background as d9 after setting the background we are again disabled foreground and then we give here a color for disable foreground then we set the font is equal to font 14 we set the foreground color here after setting the foreground we are giving the highlight background and that's equal to then we are setting the highlight color then we set here the next thing is we are giving a text and that's equal to we set three dot now the next form that we have given here that is about our other details okay so here we would be giving say other details and close it then we are setting the width of this is again 566 and command is equal to now for this particular we are giving the command as click underscore other details so let us copy down the same command over here okay so with this we have done with the button 4 also and now what remains is our button 5 that we are want, want to give another button which will be for exit or quit okay so we would create another two buttons okay on this and then our form first form creation would end here but again this will not completely execute because we have not created other form so we would create those uh, python files and then we would try executing this particular form and let's have a look at how it basically look like okay